hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel as you can see i have my beautiful damsel in my kitchen today her name is what that you say hi hi so today we are making this orange chin chin taylor told the mother to ask me if she could come to my kitchen so i can teach her how to prepare orange chin chin and that is what we are here to prepare today so on the table we have what we used to prepare our Chin chin, you can see the floor is there, the sugar, the orange, then the vanilla, this is uh, grated nutmeg, baking powder, salt, milk, butter, egg, and of course our water we are going to use. So are you ready Tahila? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. So let's get into it. You know you have to be dirty when we are doing this today, so don't just mind, but we have to get our, oil, uh, our orange chin chin out. So guys, see how we are going to prepare our orange chin chin so first of all what we'll do we'll take four cups of flour and sieve so tahila do you know why we sieve our flour i know you wouldn't know we sieve our flour because of any ants that will be in here or any particles you don't want to eat any yama yama in your chin chin so this is the cup we are using this big cup i'm going to be taking four cups whenever you are making anything and using your cup you fill it like this you level it this is how you know it is one cup you can see how level this thing is now yeah. so you now put the sieve in here and sieve it into the bowl that we are going to use so this is one cup we are using four so this is the next four you level it up very well level it up very well like this this is the second cup we sieve after sieving you see some boards in there at time you can see some weevils in there but we don't have any weevil in this one, just some um, hard um, yeah. flour that is there now. So guys, this is the third cup. And then this is the fourth cup, yeah. which is the last cup. And we sieve. So this is done now we have our flour ready so what you are going to do now is to add all the dry ingredients in here if you are preparing anything changing or cake you have to measure very well because if you don't measure very well you not get the accurate uh, taste of what you want and then changing might come so hard so you or need too, too or too soft you are very right correct so that's why you have to use your measuring cup or spoon all the time so in this place, we are going to add all the dry ingredients. So this is our measuring spoon. Yeah. So now I'm going to add four tablespoons of sugar here. So this is one, two, three, and four. You know, I don't like so much sugar. I don't know if you like so much sugar. Do you like so much sugar? Yes. You like so much sugar? Let us make it five. If I'm making mine, I always add four. Then this is our salt. We just take a pinch of salt and add into it. So now we are going to add our baking powder. And we are going to be using half tablespoon. Table that is the half. Then for our milk, we are going to be using two tablespoons. That is one. And that is two. Then this is the nutmeg. We are going to be using half, half tablespoon. That is half there now. Then after adding it like that, we now stir everything like this. Together. You stir everything together. Taylor, you know you are teaching me something here, eh? Eh? You know you are teaching me. Oh. <laughs> so we stir everything like this. You now make it well. So now the next thing I'm going to do is to crack the egg and then use my fork to whisk it. These are smaller eggs, that's why I'm using two. But if you have a big egg, you can just use one. So this is the egg. So I will set it aside. You know we are making orange chin chin. So I'll get my grater now and grate some lemon um, orange zest the back of this orange is what they call orange zest so you take the small part of this grater now and now grate in some you can see it falling inside 
You can see it. Yes. Next time, Taylor, you wouldn't want any other chin chin. This is our orange chin chin that you are eating now. When we are done here, you ask for me to buy the things for you so you can go and, and try it at home. Mm? Okay. So this is our zest. Then after adding this, I'll cut this orange into two now and I'll get the, the juice out of the um, orange. orange. So that's what we are going to use. We have the zest there. So I'm looking for my orange. Um, so this is what we are going to do now. Where is that knife? Wow. So I'll cut the orange into two to get the juice out. Can you do this? Yes. Can you press it here? We are get the juice out for me. Then squeeze it. So you can squeeze it. Squeeze it very well. Is it just the juice coming out? Yeah. Yeah, I can see it coming out. Yeah. Let me see if what we have there is enough for us. Okay, no. Just juice more, juice more, juice more. Let me clear the table a bit so that we'll have more space. Let me see. Okay, juice this one. Press it very, very well. Let me help you. This one is big. You can see how I'm just doing it with ease because I have bigger hands, eh? Yes. Okay, what we have there will be enough for us. So this is our orange juice here. Here is that sieve. I have one sieve here. Okay. So we'll now continue. I'll combine everything so that the lemon, the orange juice will enter into it very, very well and we'll have that flavor that we want. So guys, I already stirred this so that the orange zest will combine into this our uh, floor very well so the next thing we are going to do or add in the egg then i'll add vanilla quarter um tablespoon so it doesn't take out the Hello. the taste from the orange because we're making orange um chin -chin. orange chin chin so you stir like this you stir very well then i'll get the orange orange juice and i'll put here three tab three tablespoons one two. two and then three we have three tablespoons there yeah. mm -hmm. So now I'll add in butter. We are using two tablespoons of butter. I already measured it. So this is it, the butter here. So now I'm going to get my hands dirty by working with my hands now. So I'll now combine everything until it, it looks like breadcrumbs. Taylor, is what I'm doing. Yes. Hmm? Yes. Are you enjoying yourself? Yes. Okay. Before you go to school, write an essay on this. Hmm? Okay. I went to Rebenny's kitchen and I followed Auntie Benny to prepare orange chin chin. Hmm? Okay. So guys, this is how it looks like now. Breadcrumbs. Yeah. It's looking like breadcrumbs or ground uh, goosey. So we'll now add water here. So in here, I have 600 ml of water. I'll be adding the water gradually. Then when we are done, I'll know how many ml of water that we use. So you just be adding it gradually so I don't spoil the dough. So when you add it, you combine, you check if you see have to add more. So it's forming a dough now, you can see. Yes. It's forming a dough. So I just add little again, just little. 
don't just pour the water at once if you pour the water at once you spoil it hmm? because you don't need it to be too soft or too hard, or too hard. yeah you're right so you keep on kneading like this until it doesn't stick to the plate or to your finger again you know that the dough is ready you can see that we are just measuring everything hmm? so i think it will come out very very fine so it's a bit sticky i'll just take one tablespoon of flour and add to it so it can come out from my hand and then from the from the bowl let me just sprinkle some so i'll now sprinkle i'll now keep rubbing it you can see it's not sticking like that again like before mm -hmm. like we added too much water you can see the dough is forming very well it's circle. yeah Let me just add some to my to my palm. We don't want to take hard chinching or, or too soft because if it is too soft, it might soak in the oil when you are frying it. You just need the accurate measurement of everything. guys see the dough has formed and this is what we have now so i'll just allow it to rest for like five minutes let us clear this table so we can now work on this surface but you can see here we have um, um almost 400 uh, mils now that means we use 200 mils of water for this yes. 200 mils of water that we use hmm? so that is the correct accurate measure that is the accurate measurement for this now so guys we'll see you in a bit Dayla, are you ready for the second round? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. So guys, we are back. So this has been resting for like uh, five minutes now. I'll bring it out. I'll sprinkle some flour on the work surface. Then leave it here like this. This is what they call divider. So I'll cut it into two. Wow, our rolling pin. Oh. So this is rolling pin. You can see how white this rolling pin is. Yes. This is mostly used for when you are rolling and fondant for cake. But this is what I have, so I'm going to use it. So I'll divide this into two, leave this half here. Then we'll now roll out. Hmm? Will you have the strength to roll out? Yes. You won't have the strength. To. But anyway, you try. There's no harm in trying. Hmm? Yes. So I'm going to be rolling this one out now. You see what I'm doing? Yes. You have to roll it thinly. So you have that crunchy chin chin. Hmm? Yes. Because if it's too fat, it is soaking the oil and it won't be looking crunchy like I normally like my chin chin to be. Hmm? Yes. I'm just perceiving the orange flavor in this our chin chin. Eh? Yes. Are you perceiving it? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. So when you're making your chin chin like this, you can cut it into any shape you want to. So we are going to be cutting different shapes today. You can see how I'm rolling it now. If you feel that it's getting stuck to the work surface, you add in some more flour like this. Hmm? Yes, so then put it back. Uh, so it not be sticking there. So you put it back. Then roll again. I just want it to be so thin. Some place are still fat. I don't want that. It's still fat. Yeah, I'm getting what I want now. Hmm? So you can see how the size of it, you can see how thin it is. If it's too fat, it's going to soak up all your oil and you will have that crunchiness in your chin chin. So we've gotten what we want now. So it's not time for us to cut into any shape that we want. So you can use the knife or you can use your pizza cutter. This is the knife. 
anyone that is so suitable for you, you use. If you're using the knife, you just do like this and you cut. Then if you're using the pizza cutter, you do like this and you cut. So are we going to cut the long, long one or the round one? Which are we, which are we cutting? The round one. You want the round one? Yes. Are you sure that's what you want? Yes. The round one, you cut like this, then you now start using your knife to cut it. Is it what you want? Yes. This is what you want? Eh? Yes. This is what you, okay. So yes. start, start using the knife to cut that one. Hmm? Okay. To be cutting this one. No, this use this place. Use this place. We are start cutting. No, don't, don't, um, slice on the, on the, just put the knife and it will cut like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, just be cutting like that. I have different methods of cutting my own. Then like anyhow you cut this, that's how we're going to take it to do. Anyhow you cut it, you're going to take it like that. <laughs> mm? Just cut it, just cut it the way you know how to cut. I'm using the pizza cutter to cut this one. Can we have a uh, small one at the end? It's like we have a guest in the house, so where Artie wants to join us, we have a guest here. We just cut it any shape, any size. Where Artie, how are you? What did you say? What did you say, Tahila? What did you say? I said that can we have two shapes? We have, we have different shape. If you want us to, don't worry. So I'm having a different shape here, so I'm cutting something so different here. You just be cutting that that shape there first. Guys, let me tell you a story. I was Taylor's age when I started making chin chin. And now I'm a pro in this. I can even close my eyes to cut this thing. I can bring out chin chin in the next 20 minutes to tell you how, how I'm used to it and how fast I am when I'm making it. Back then in the days in my house, both the boys, we all do this during festive seasons. Mom she will mix it for us. After mixing, she will leave us and we'll start cutting. I'll be doing first to finish. It was so, so interesting then. Guys, this just bring back uh, um, memories to me now. So I'm doing this with Tehila. Tehila, do you hear what I said? Yes. Mm -hmm. So I was your age when I started cutting this chin chin. I said making this chin chin. And guys, if you want to start a business, you can use this, my recipe for a business. And if you are a stay at home mom and the kids are on holidays now, you want to keep them busy, you can try this recipe. Hmm? Make your hand dirty. And you can also make it at home for your guests. You know, when people come to visit, you of run around to look for what the person will take. Just open your fridge and serve them chin chin. So, so easy to make. So we're just cutting any design now. But you can cut any design of your shape. This is how the pin is always falling. I don't know why. Are you done with that one? Yes. So I brought in another one for you. I prefer using the knife. I'm faster when I'm using the knife. So guys, when you're done cutting and you want to put it on the surface like this, you sprinkle in some flour on the tray surface. Then the one that you have cut, you now pack them in. You do that so it doesn't stick to the 
tray where you want to pour it into the oil. And when you are fine chin chin, you use deep fry, not shallow frying. Or dry. Or dry, yes. Your oil should be much. Hmm? Let it not fold there. So let us keep cutting. We are almost done with this one now. Then the other shape, I'll tell you what we are going to cut for that one. See how my Taylor is so excited. She has always wanted this. Hmm? Taylor, am I right? Yes. Coming here today, I'm sure she didn't sleep yesterday. By 6 a.m., she was already up. <laughs> she was already up telling my mommy, mommy, let us go. <laughs> oh, I love kids like this. I need this. I need flour. You need flour, okay. You need to rub here. Thank you. So guys, if you have been following us till this moment, please hit that subscribe button. And if you haven't liked the video, just click the like button. Give this video a thumbs up, please. Keep watching our videos. Keep watching the adverts. I appreciate you all. Without you, there's no real Benny's Kitchen. Tell her first time making chin chin. We are trying. We see that we are cut like a pro. Are you a pro? Mm -hmm. Pro means professional. Mm? I think so. Come over this way. Come over this way. The way you get home today, tell mommy to buy you all the ingredients so you can surprise daddy when he comes back from work, right? Yes. We are almost done with this one. You can join them together, yeah, but don't allow, don't allow it to stick. Okay. Guys, if you hear a baby's voice in this video, I have a lovely baby by me here. She just wants to join this by all means. <laughs> Like I'm going to help you with that last one because we have to finish up with that one. We're almost done. So guys, we are done with this. Let's roll over the other one and then give it another design. Wow, we are doing so great, Tehila. Hmm? They are doing so so great. Yeah. Ray Artist answered, Yeah. <laughs> Ray Artie, you want to enter here by all means today. <laughs> so, this is the other one that we cut. So, I roll again thinly. Always rub floor on the work surface so it doesn't stick. But not too much because if it's too much, your oil will start foaming. I'm always rub floor on the rolling pin because if you don't do that, it will stick to the rolling pin too. Hmm?
I'm wearing this one so thinly. Because I want it to be so, so crunchy. Than the other one. Yeah. We're cutting that, that type you saw in my video. That strand that we cut. You saw that one now? Yes. That one we are going to be cutting here. So that, that should be thin. Yeah, I think we are getting it now. So I'll cut it into two so that I'll be able to cut it very well. Are you sure you can cut that type? Hmm? I think so. Let me just show you. Like this one, this one is small now, eh? Just cut it into two like this. Hmm? Okay. Where is your knife? Easy, that was so it doesn't fall. So this one is like this, you cut it into two like this. Okay. Then the longer it is, you cut it into three, into four like that. But I want to have it like that, eh? That's what I want to have. No, that one is too tiny. This one now, eh? Cut it into two. This one into two. Okay. Hmm? Then if it's too long, into three. Hmm? Okay. The longer it is, the more you'll be cutting it. Hmm? So that it will be a bit uniform. Do you get me? Yes. Okay. We are fast learner. now. I love cutting this shape because after fine, it's so, so crunchy. See them here. I'm putting them here for you. When you do, when you finish, just put them that way. So Tahila said she wants to roll her own. I gave her a piece she's going to roll. So Tahila, do your thing by yourself. She even took some of my cutters and she, that she wants some, um, um, this one is butterfly now. This one is dark. This one is teddy bear, and this one is um is it a bed or anything? I don't know. So she, this, this one is star. So she wants to cut her own. So I gave her all this cut. I tell her be cutting her own. Why may I finish with this other one? She's really having a good time here. Taylor, do you have any questions to ask me? No. Why you must have a question to ask me now? I already understood everything. You said what? Okay, you understood everything. Yes. I mean, she wants to make this chin, chin like a pro. Okay. When you're done cutting, you put it there. Hmm? Okay. But don't like to be too tired, too flat. See, that place is already too too light. Oh, yeah. Roll here. Try to be the same with that place. Roll this other side. Okay, it's okay now. Start cutting. Before you cut it, just use this cutter now to dip. Use this cutter to dip so it doesn't um, stick. Hmm? Okay. You didn't press it very well. So that to come out on its own, press it very, very well. So, see now, you didn't press it very, this one is a dock, so you just put it there. So when you fry it now, it come out in a dock shape. Cut it, press it very, press it very well. When you press it very well, it will come out on its own. You don't have strength to cut it very, to press it very well, see. Okay, it has even come out. So this is diamond shape you have there. Press it very well. This one you didn't put. This one I didn't put it where. This is the up. This is bottom you're supposed to use. Okay. But it has come out. Don't worry, it has come out. This is teddy bear shape. I didn't cut it very well. So press it again with the other side I showed you now. Press it very well. Press it very well. Teddy bear. Yes, press that. Press it very well to come out. Bina, let me see. Has it come out? I think. Yeah, it, no, you didn't see now. If, it, if it's out, you see, it will be sticking like this. So you see, okay. I'm, I'm forcing it out. You don't have to force it out. If you, if you force it out, you won't have the shape you want now. So now, I don't know if it's steady or what this one is now. But put it like that. So just try and see if you can cut it. See, put it here later and press it very, very here. here. It will cut. You don't need to hit it. You don't need to hit it. 
I'm not that strong. Okay, not that strong. So you see her baby hand now. Let me see. Did it come out? Okay, you tried in this one. You tried. This one is this one is steady beer. Steady beer. Now use the smaller cutter so that you cut or then roll it out again. You are shaking your 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 waists. Hmm. Hurry up so we can fry. Hmm? Mm -hmm. We have different shapes that we are cutting now. It's very hard. Hmm? That one is star. This one came out very well. So put in the in the plate there. After frying, that's how it's going to come out. You did very well. You tried. Hmm? Okay. Butterfly. Nice butterfly. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then all the shit. Then you have to roll it out again. So guys, we are about to fry. We are done cutting, and the oil is hot now. So just get your kitchen towel ready. So it is fried. You put it there to absorb the excess oil. Easy when you are pouring so it doesn't bounce on you. We use deep frying for this. And you know it is fried when it is golden brown. Then you are good to go with your crunchy chin chin. At the beginning, you have to keep stirring it so that the one that has stuck together will lead itself. Then when that is done, you leave it to keep on frying by, it, by itself or on its own. I love the aroma of chin chin when you are frying it. It fills the whole kitchen. And that is what I'm experiencing in my kitchen right now. So guys, I'm done stirring it and they are all single now. So I'll just leave it to keep on frying. Until it is golden brown, I'll come and take them out. You can see guys, I'm taking them out. It's already golden brown. But I think I left it over so it's so dark. Yours might not be, that, be as dark as this. So my friend wants to add her own. She cut different shapes. So she's coming to add her own now. Come and tell them why you did your own, Tehilao. So she cut different shapes. You can see in her plate here, she had different shapes here. She has a teddy bear. She has diamond. She has a flower. She has what again? Ah. We are start putting them in the oil one by one. No, don't drop it like that. You splash the oil everywhere. Don't do that. Easy, just easy, easy. Mm -hmm. Fast, fast, fast. So you don't get burned. Fast. You are splashing it. Don't. Oil will burn you. Easy, easy. Small, small. Easy. What do you want to say? Tell them what you want to say now. I'm going to say that when it's gold and brown, that's when I'll bring them out. Okay, that's good. And there'll be different shapes. Okay. Like teddy bear, star, diamond, flower, um, chicken. Yeah. Plus hearts. Are you, have you guys heard her? Huh? I can see all the shapes now in the oil. See how they are? Looking so good. You boil yourself with this oil. When you are doing at home, don't do that. Just add it easily. Eh? The oil doesn't splash to your body. Hmm? And you cause um, injury in the kitchen. No. And when you put that, you keep on, see, see the way I'm stirring it like this? You keep on stirring it like this so it doesn't get burnt, eh? Okay. And so that everywhere, body in and out, you get fried very well, hmm? Okay. See, I can see the teddy bear. I won't allow you to bring them out because you might burn yourself. So I'll bring them out for you. Okay. Uh -huh. So step aside a bit now. <laughs> So guys, you can see what we are doing here. My friend Taylor is so, so excited. 
and I'm happy to put her through this. After this one, I'll fry the other one I will cut first. And then we are done for today's lesson. So guys, you can see we are done and our crunchy orange chin chin is in front of us. This is my friend's own Tevila. See her chin chin, she made, um, this is teddy bear, this is butterfly, and this is a diamond and so on. Then this one, just normal cutting, I will cut this one like this. So Tevila, what do you think? It's very nice. It's very, very nice. Yes. So what do you have to tell my fans now? Thank you, Auntie Benny, for me, <laughs> teaching me how to make chin chin, orange chin chin. Okay. Hello, people. Hello, guys. Like, subscribe, and share. Thank Have you heard her? Please like, subscribe, and share. And guys, we are done for today. Bye-bye until we come your way again. See you.